Welcome back to Friends of Family Survival. Today we're going to be going over alcohol stoves. We're not going to be making your average little alcohol stoves that you'd make out of like a little soda bottle. Um, we did see a video on YouTube about making an alcohol stove out of an old little Axe body spray can. And we thought it was pretty cool so we went and got one of these, emptied it out. And just follow along and let's see how it turns out. Okay, so here's kind of just a brief overview of everything that we're going to be using for this small little project. We have a hacksaw, um, the empty axe can, uh, a marker, file. We got some JB Weld just because it lasts a little bit longer because there is going to be heat with this. And then just some denatured alcohol that we're going to use to light it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark our cuts. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to cut along this middle line right here because we still need to take this little core out right here. So sit tight, um, let's go ahead and get that cut. Okay, so now we got them cut. It's really easy. So now what we do need to do is pull out this little stem right here, which came out real easy. And then we're just going to take a little punch and we're going to punch this down and get that out so we'll have a clean little hole. Okay, so what we did is we just took a nail and we just punched out that little thing. So now we have a little hole going all the way through. So now the next step is we're going to cut to here. You can use the hacksaw, um, but we do have some little tin snips that we're going to use just to make it kind of a cleaner cut all the way around. So sit tight while we get that going. Okay, so we got those cut to where we need them to be. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a file and we're going to clean up some of these edges because they are extremely sharp right now and a little bit of rough. So as you can see it's kind of got a little kind of a crappy rough edge going around. So we're going to clean that up real quick. Okay, so now that we got them kind of cleaned up uh, where it's not going to cut us or snag or anything, we're just going to take this marker and we're going to lightly just go around the outside and we're going to make, as you can see, this little bevel. It's not as hard as you would think. It's actually really easy to make this little bevel. So sit tight and we'll get that done. Okay, so as you can see, we went ahead and we just beveled the outside of this whole thing. Now what we're gonna do is mix up some JB Weld Put it around the inside of this, put them together, and let it sit for just a minute. Done. Mixing up this JB weld. Now what we've done is we cut this and this, so these are going to fit super snug into here. We're going to put the JB weld in, which will keep it in there, and then we're going to lightly tap it down with the hammer just to make sure it's seated in there nice. As you can see, when you cut these, because of the little tears that this axe can has, it just fits airtight down in there on itself. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we got a bunch of JB weld down there, what we're going to do is get this in here before it sets and then we're just going to take a small block of wood hammer lightly tap it's looking good and we're just going to give it a couple minutes and then we're going to put some holes in it and it should be good to go okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put um, 16 holes on it so we're just going to do uh, two on each side, two on each side, and then just evenly go around.
Okay, so that is it. It is completed. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this. We just made a little hole in the corner of this. We're gonna put some denatured alcohol in there. And then we're also gonna put some denatured alcohol around this outer ring to get it going. So sit tight and let's get that going. See how it works. So as you can see, it's just burning the outside real fast, that alcohol that we put in. Once that burns off, it's gonna go up to those holes that we made and we'll have ourselves a little torch. I'm gonna have Spence turn the lights off real quick so you can see this, because it looks pretty cool. So as you can see, we were able to make an awesome little alcohol stove out of an old axe can. Took us about five minutes with very little resources. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please leave any comments if you have questions. You can find us on Facebook at Friends and Family Survival. You can also find us on Twitter at FNF Survival. You have a nice day. Thanks for watching.